Welcome to Cax Bar and Podcast, Canada's first podcast bar. What that means is you can come here for food, you can come here for drinks, you can also come here and record a podcast. Come on down, we're located in downtown Calgary, Alberta in the Beltline area. See you soon. And we're rolling. I'm back. Cat's back. I'm back. Cat's back. Yeah. Cat's a previous guest in the podcast. Cass is also a YouTuber. Um, I'm gonna put her, her last episode in the show notes. I'm also going to put all of the, obviously all of her socials on the show notes. Um, yeah. So Kat, you want to recap to the audience uh, who you are real quick? Yeah. Or? I'm a YouTuber. I started YouTube back in 2021. Um, and I've been doing it every single day for the last three, almost three years now. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she literally has like like over like hundred and sixty sixty ish sixty thousand subscribers. Yeah, so it's uh yeah, and me and Kat we we met uh when we met in, the, in like when we Cax kind of first opened, she's one of the earlier guests, and we had a great conversation then. We both and like we both keeping tabs, I guess, on each other's socials and and yeah, I, I consider uh, Kat a friend, and it's so awesome when she reached out and she's like, hey, I'm back in town because she's moved since the last time we talked. And yeah, like actually, we're just gonna be catching up in real time here, and I guess the uh, the the audience can kind of just just uh, just enjoy 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 the catch up. Yeah. But um, Kat, yeah. Okay, since we last talked, you you moved and uh, and you're pregnant. Right yes, now. I am pregnant. <laughs> congrats, I congrats. The last time we came, I came on here. I was talking about like my infertility struggles. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, I took it into my own hands because uh, my fertility doctor is awful. Like, um, Alberta is one of the worst places to get fertility treatment. So I took it into my own hands, did as much research as possible. And the first month I did something different, I started taking the supplement. Bam, I'm pregnant. And I, <laughs> I did make this joke with my husband because the last times I've gotten pregnant, it's always been in October. So I'm always I'm I feel like I'm just gonna have June babies for the rest of my life. <laughs> right. Yeah. The um, what what was this miracle like like drug and how come the other uh, uh fertility doctors couldn't figure mm-hmm. out that that was like like um, what you needed? The fertility clinic I was at is a very cookie cutter thing. If you don't fit directly into what they want to treat you, they don't they don't care. Uh-huh. They they just want to like pretty much ring you out with money and stuff. So. Okay, well, well, screw them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I was really contemplating being sent to like Vancouver and just taking like flights to go down there. Mm-hmm. And like, because you can do like over the phone or video chat appointments too. So, yeah. Well, like, I mean, d- like, man, like doctors don't know everything, you know, and, yeah. and especially with what you just point out, there's this, if there's this like business agenda behind it, then, then, you know, that's kind of unfortunate for people who really need help or, yeah. or, or, or if they know the answer, it's kind of fortunate they're withholding it because you know it's not part of their uh, business model or or whatever it is. But uh, no, I'm happy for you. And um, yeah. and but okay, but you moved. So yeah. now where do you, where do you live right now? You, I live in Wainwright. Wainwright's um, okay. It's a small town of about seven thousand people. Uh, it's an army base too. Um, I don't live on the army base, but I live pretty close to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and my husband just got a job out there, and it was. His salary is able to pay all our bills and uh, rent um, fully. Mm. So all the money I make is just extra savings for you. and yeah, other- for your kid, yeah. <laughs> extra for the kid. So it was just it was just like the best financial decision for that. And also, the college I wanted to go to is thirty minutes north of there, so it's perfect (laughs) that i was like we were planning on moving out there at some point anyways so it just like happened to fall in our laps that he got the job interview they literally hired him on the spot he called me we were at a stampede breakfast with i was out with my child at stampede breakfast and he called me and he's like they offered me the job um and i'm like where is it and he's like four hours away (laughs) and i'm like we're moving (laughs) yeah i was like give me just you need to give me like a few days and then i actually just looked into it 10 minutes later i'm like yeah accept the job (laughs) sweet sweet so that's like that's like obviously like you're super happy and then um and right now it's like i mean yes this is the last talk to you you moved you're pregnant you uh you literally like got over a a major personal hurdle because of like the because of those those uh crummy doctors oh (laughs) yeah about that the thing i took was obvious still so pcos um my doctor refused to diagnose me with it even though i have all the symptoms of it uh (laughs) help a dumb dumb like me understand what what all that was (laughs) hormone imbalance where testosterone is higher 
there's different types of PCOS, like adrenal, um, uh, the, like some that can be caused by birth control. And um, so you had higher testosterone, just and, a little bit higher testosterone th that was affecting um, the way the rest of the body functions in order yeah. to, to get pregnant. Yeah. Okay, and okay. Like it's just in general, like I was exhausted. I could barely function. Um, like I'm needing to take like two, three naps a day. <laughs> but you had higher testosterone. Doesn't, doesn't, that, doesn't that usually equate to like higher energy? You know, like, no, uh, no, no, not not in this, not in this uh, context. Or, no, in the context of like women, mm -hmm. it, the testosterone needs to be between a certain level because the estrogen needs right. to be higher. Yeah, um, yeah. And also my um, cortisol. No, oh, okay, yeah. yeah, that's high. So yeah. my stress hormone, it's causing so much stress and then the toss like it was just everything was out of whack mm -hmm. and so i started watching my like my blood sugar um keto is something i've done for the last few years on and off mm -hmm. and keto but not necessarily keto but low carb helps because it removes all the excess sugar which helps bring down everything yeah, yeah. so i did that and i took a supplement called called obviously Mm -hmm. which is myo inestial and inestial um i know you probably don't know. no no i'm <laughs> learning i'm learning or or like or i'm refreshing my yeah. my brain on some of this stuff blood blood sugar control um i don't have diabetes or pre-diabetes mm -hmm. but i was saying just below pre-diabetes pre -diabetes. Yeah, so yeah. uh it was just a yeah i started taking that and then literally um, I got pregnant that month. So. <laughs> so, so like you literally just kind of, kind of yeah, just evened out your, the, the hormone imbalance. Yeah. And whatever. people were like, um, when I was reading the reviews, people were like, the second I started taking it, I got pregnant even after like years of trying. And yeah. I'm like, might as well. It is a bit expensive though. <clears throat> it's about a hundred dollars for three months supply. So okay. it was like, that seems not expensive if it's something important to you yeah. that, you know, yeah, I was like, I have the money, let's do it. And yeah, I just was not expecting it at all. I, I when I woke up that morning, I was like, I need to take a test. Yeah, <laughs> and then I literally sent him at eight a.m. to the store, and he's he's still half asleep. And yeah, and then I like come back, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, congrats, because like yeah. you know, like I understand how much that means to you. Like how many yeah. how many kids do you want ultimately here? Uh, you know. I always had plans. I wanted a lot of kids, but I wanted to adopt too. I want like four biological and like six adopted. Holy shit! But so you, <laughs> so you want you want like ten? Not happen in this economy. <laughs> yeah. But um. So you want a big family? Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, I kids um, helping raise like the next generation to be accepting and inclusive is one of my big uh big things and yeah. yeah actually i started a day home too oh okay shit yeah yeah <laughs> so all those those kids that come into my home like um i have four now they've all um said they're like i want to live here i want to stay here forever you lose so much fun and like yeah and so <laughs> so like, like is this good. so is this in right wayne right yeah Okay, sweet. Like, uh, so that's man. So you have like another business then? Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then on top of it, you're still YouTubing. Yes. Man, like, okay. Like, and, and you're getting ready to be a mom a second time. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. Like, you're, yeah. I think last time we spoke, you, you did say you like to keep busy. You like to have like, 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 like purpose routine. Like, yeah. Purpose like, and, and like make a difference kind of thing. Like, yeah. and, and you're also, you've wrapped up your exercise. I know you told me as well. Like, yes. yeah. So right um, now you become a bit of a, like a gym rat. You know, like <laughs> I was one before. Like there was a like a few months uh back in twenty twenty two where I was going super hard at the gym and I lost like twenty pounds in a month. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> but that was I was pushing myself hard. Yeah. Um and uh, doing mostly like what in, in the gym there? You was mo was, it was like bodybuilding kind of like I was doing right? bodybuilding, not as much as I am now, but it was it was a lot of cardio. I was running, I was um, I did Zumba, yoga, everything. Yeah. 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 And uh, like, okay, so like, like, what, what were the numbers? Like, what was the bench? What was the, I mean, what was the, what was the deadlift? What was the squat? Like, what, what, kind of, what, are, what are the records here? <laughs> I don't, I don't do the, um, the deadlifts or yeah. the squats. I do have a knee problem. So okay, I have okay. to limit Look around that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If I, if I work it out too much, I will literally dislocate my knee right, right after the gym and I'm like, Mm -hmm. That's not the best idea, especially it's, if I'm going to the gym by myself. Man, or, yeah. yeah, like yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to mean to say it like that. Yeah, I like I honestly, it's like even the deadlift though. Like I kind of stopped doing it for a while now mm -hmm. because it, like I just kept 
I did it for years and years and years and years with no no issue, no factor. Loved it. Loved big deadlifting day. You know, for a skinnier frame, it packs on a lot of muscle. But mm -hmm. as I get older now, I don't know what it is. Like it, uh, it, it's it really. I keep like hurting my lower back, no matter how light the weight is. And, mm -hmm. and like I, you know, my I'm like, well, my technique was good for like literally 15, 18 years. Now it's now it's off, and you know, so like like I'm kind of starting to avoid that one too because I don't know. I just I just want to understand. It's like it's actually. Um, well, and it's controversial because some people, their entire life is the deadlift in the gym. Yeah. Like that's what they love to do. But like, I've been really paying attention. I think, I think it's one of those things where the body mechanically is good for it in, in the twenties maybe. And then, and I think it's just little micro muscles, like, like in the hips, lower back glutes, like mm -hmm. everything. I think, cause as you get older, I think you lose like the subtle micro muscles around that you don't even notice. And then all of a sudden, like, like that move is not as like protected around around like your spine and lower hip yeah. and everything like that like that that's why i suspect now i can't quite put my finger on it but i just notice i'm like it is, it is to me it seems like everyone i know who's 30 and up start slowly start like stop deadlifting and squatting like yeah. because of like just some kind of like coincidence but um yeah but right now i mean yeah like it, it is a dangerous move if you're not if it's not all set up perfect for you you know yeah but uh yeah I'm glad you're not doing them then if you do. Like... <laughs> I have I did try bench presses. Yeah. Um that was a few weeks ago, and I do not recommend trying it for the first time while you're pregnant. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh that was painful and just it was uncomfortable. So hey Cap, the uh <laughs> like uh like fill me in on this. What is okay, what's the recommendation for exercise when you're pregnant? Is it just hey, keep exercising as normal or um, is it something I you think that I would have more knowledge on uh, for legit. exercising it is recommended that um you do what you were doing before and I was bought like I was building muscle before mm -hmm. I wasn't doing much cardio yeah. um other thing is is that everybody's different and some doctors will put you on bed rest if you have certain conditions and then like my doctor was like um placenta previa is where the placenta is covering your cervix mm -hmm. and that was a concern um two weeks ago and she's like if you do have it you need to stop it like d lifting right away <laughs> right and you'll have to focus on cardio just walking uh -huh. and i was i got i was so disappointed because i'm like i go to a gym like daily <laughs> yeah yeah and it, this is like part of like my like routine so yeah what uh like i okay yeah i didn't even think about that like yeah like all, all these other all like when you're pregnant yeah literally like different placements <clears> of, of of sections of the body will will literally be like hey like not recommended like so right now when you're benching though like while you're pregnant like what what, what specifically that move is is like is, is um, not recommended while you're pregnant <laughs> if you were doing it before you can continue doing it but yeah. starting something new while you're pregnant you're not gonna have the proper form because everything has shifted in your body right. so like because you like arch your back mm -hmm. and you're pushing down the, yeah. like you i don't have that proper form that i like had before I was pregnant, so everything like I'm not going to be able to have that proper form while I'm pregnant. Right, so. right. And plus, there's the risk of actually dropping the bench on top of yeah. the, like <laughs> the baby. Yeah, you know. So okay, but uh, okay. So like, is it? Uh, do you do you use a lot more like machines or free weights? Or yeah, like, I do what? machines. I do free weights. I like I do free like bicep curls. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of it is like just machines, so just to like to limit the risk of me you know, dropping it or, right, yeah, <laughs> or yeah. something falling on me. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I did start, I did start working on my abs. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, just because like everything's pushed up and I, I did, I did it one time like two weeks ago and I'm just like, I can't breathe yeah. every time I go forward. <laughs> I can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I need to stop. Yeah. I, yeah. I'll, yeah. I don't know, but if uh, if you do certain like a lot of moves, the core is engaged anyway. Yeah. So it's like yeah, it, engaging yeah. the core. But like as soon as you're like going mm. forward, it's like yeah, the baby's sitting like right there under your ribs. Like right, yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You already have problems breathing while you're pregnant <laughs> and you're out of breath, so it's like yeah. So so so, Kat, uh, like maybe personal question, uh, but like so, what's the fitness goals? Like uh, so after you know, like after a baby number two yeah. right now, like do you want to do you want to like. Uh, continue going and, and uh, make a make a drastic body transformation or is it just like you enjoy the lifestyle and you're just like patient with the progress or I, do you have an aggressive end goal i do i right now my goal is to make sure i don't gain weight i've gained it go it's gone up i've lost weight and i've also gained like five pounds mm -hmm. 
So I that got, could be water and stuff too, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah. practically all the weight I've gained right now is specifically due to pregnancy and not due to like fat gain and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I do want, like, I want to lose weight. I don't, I don't want to <laughs> stay in this body forever, but mm-hmm. it's harder with uh, I, the thing about PCOS though, is that weight loss is so fucking hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is extremely hard when your cortisol levels are high um when you're just your hormones are just so like everywhere that it's just hard Mm. so with that i'm going to continue like working like finding pcos friendly ways to bring down these levels and get rid of some of the weight and also building the muscle will help raise my calorie intake so that my like i start losing the weight more yep efficiently yep Yep. yeah because people always on this myth like i gotta do a bunch of cardio and run to lose the weight it's like no 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 you gotta you also gotta lift and create the muscle so that the food feeds something right yeah and uh and uh i mean but uh but right now the the medion does that like you said it messes with the hormones but what about the metabolism does that is or like yeah is that what is um, is that like directly like does it like slower <laughs> like does it lo- uh, slow down to a point which is why it's hard to to lose weight or um when i eat carbs it's definitely harder to lose weight Mm. um not not carbs in general but like carbs that are focused on um sugar yeah uh so do you know what the mediterranean diet it is i fill me in again yeah sorry one second Mm. (laughs) um it is um like over in oh goodness like the Greece and all that, like around the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah. Um, they're like the lifestyle there is eating fish, um, lots of vegetables, um, and fish. whole grains. Okay. Not whole wheat, but whole grains. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of fiber and healthy um fats from this mm-hmm. from that diet. And that diet is also really good for PCOS PCOS because it like um you're in t- you're taking less sugar in but if you do when you eat fruit the sugar from fruit is better for you than the sugar from yeah like sugar cane <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah okay okay so so that's uh like um like just, just being honest like yeah like you you look you look like more in shape since last time we talked so, yeah like yeah yeah so I, um I, I, when I got sick a few weeks ago I was like I ended up losing like probably 10 pounds of fat over mm-hmm two weeks like i i was not eating yeah. <laughs> so um i look at myself and i'm like my back and i'm like damn my yeah, back yeah. is like <laughs> looking jacked at- yeah yeah. <laughs> the, um, yeah well you were joking that you have a gym partner out there that goes lifts with you and like in and um and in your you guys are only five pounds off in yeah. certain moves <laughs> so yeah so he must you know, so it's inspiring yeah. for you and uh so a challenge for him, I guess. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. In high school. So we did these, um, this like unit, like where half the people were swimming, like the boys were swimming and then the girls were in the gym, like learning how to use the equipment. And it was hilarious. She, they're like, don't go showing off. I know it's mostly boys that show off, but it's like our teacher's like, don't, you're going to hurt yourself if you show off. So <laughs> all these girls are like in there doing the weights and like, I've been in the gym before, but not frequently yeah. um like i was 15 at the time i think it was mm-hmm. um i had also just torn torn my acl so i was like i'm not gonna be pushing myself hard with my knee so i was like okay let's do this i have done Aren't a you lot of your acl <laughs> jumping on a trampoline oh okay okay, okay. Right. makes sense makes sense it's one of the <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, it's one of the things like people are doctors like don't jump on trampoline you're gonna hurt yourself yeah. and i tried to Oh, God. Myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I've done a lot of canoeing and, um, uh, like I do a lot of like my body shit, my body type is naturally muscle building. Like I, a I mesomorph. Explained, yeah, yeah. I yeah. explained last time how both my dad and my grandpa yeah. played football yeah. and it's just the body type I have is mm. muscle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, I go in, they were doing 35 on the chest press. Like it, it wasn't the laying down, but like the 
the machine one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the and sitting chest press, like like a like a thirty five plate on each side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then I I sit down and I'm like, okay, I do this, and I literally like throw it, <laughs> and I'm like, oh goodness. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so I had I just kept going up and up and up and up, and then I got the seventy five, and I'm like, I'm doing like double what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. At fifteen. And, yeah. And like, then everybody's yeah. just like looking at me, and I'm like, and they're like. Yeah, uh, and I'm like, I'm just like that's where that's she she explained it. She's like, you got to be able to do 15 reps, um, three sets, and I'm like, yeah, that seems pretty good right there. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So the uh, so you so you definitely have a gift of strength then in, yeah. in your genetic, and then um, yeah, and, and again, man, like I don't know if we like like my <clears throat> my, my brain sometimes just just from uh, all that's been going on in my world, Leah. The last time the last time we spoke, like, did we did we uh, did we touch a little bit on the like the origins of like like your like your um like you like you're like you have a lot of muscle but like 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 what like the like the fat like was that was that just something that was kind of also genetic or, yes, yeah the like, fat is definitely genetic yeah. i have been considered obese my entire life yeah yeah like, um did we touch on this i don't think we did not, uh, yeah. not, uh, no, I, no i don't think no, so no i don't think so yeah we, we just kind of were chatting away but anyway, yeah. yeah okay but um yeah i like, can talk about that yeah i do have to say though that growing up my parents did feed me a lot of fast food. Mm -hmm. Um and there when were... we say a lot, like what's a lot? Because my parents gave me fast food too. It's just by a different genetic metabolism. Five times a week. Five times a week. Okay, that's <laughs> okay, that, okay, that's a bit that's a bit. I McDonald's is like a once every two week like treats yeah. that uh it's, it's yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't just McDonald's, it was everything. It was just you know, mm -hmm. both parents working and it, like there's there's a lot surrounding it though. Yeah. Um and I, I am definitely a bit like upset at that fact because I'm like I had to because like you're a parent now in hindsight like that's a bit negligent to be just like yeah. thrown thrown like I'll, I'll but at the same time the kids were you like when you're a kid you're like wow like McDonald's yes you know it's like because yeah. it just tastes so good yeah you know? and then as soon as I move out then I still have that sort of habit yeah, yeah and yeah. it's taken a long time to break that like mm -hmm. I eat fast food now because I wanted to make sure. This baby, because with my first, I was eating fast food so much, and I gained 50 pounds with him. And this time, I've gained, like, nothing, and I'm eating a lot. Cleaner. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I'm eating, like, whole products, like, not just prepackaged food, but, yeah. like, I'm cooking. Like, I'm baking my own stuff. I'm mm -hmm. raw ingredients, cooking, making it all. So. Yeah. The, um, uh, just a quick question. Like, like when you said, uh. Like you ate the fast food and you, you just put on like 50 pounds. Like again, like it, yeah. it's also because your metabolism is just, is just a bit different with like, with the hormone uh, yeah. imbalance. So it was almost like, man, you said like every factor against you, yeah. <laughs> like on, in this front. Yeah. Yeah. But... I, it, it was definitely a struggle though. One of the things though was bullying when I was in high school. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can, um, yeah. There was one girl, <laughs> she still views my stories on Instagram too. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things she said to one of my best friends was, oh, you know that, you know her, you know Kat? And she's like, oh, her family must have fat parties. And I'm like, what the f does that even mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, people, are, people are such pricks when they're younger. I mean, like, yeah. look, I'm no angel either, but like, it's, you know, it's like, uh, you know, like, I mean, but I've, I've also been bullied too, you know, it's yeah. like, like it just in hindsight, sometimes I, I, I don't know. I don't want to get you just finished, but, and then I'll, and I'll tell you. Yeah, my, my it, was, <laughs> it was definitely a struggle because like my weight was definitely a target for a lot of the bullying growing up yeah. and. But um, none of them can physically beat you, I bet. Yeah. No, they, I can <laughs> yeah. take them to the ground instantly. <laughs> yeah, like, or just like these people just... were like tiny, like yeah, um, yeah, like she were she like she was a, like a gym, like a athlete, but like yeah, there's no way that she could have taken. Me. <laughs> so yeah, 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 but, I, yeah. Like I mean, obviously, it always pains me to hear that kind of shit. So, like, but like, I mean, like I had I had racist bullies when I was yeah. a kid, you know. So it's just like just sucks man like 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 kid, like that's why you you know we said you want to make sure all the kids your kids are all inclusive like that's yeah. that's good like you're meant to be a mom if, if the end goal is to you know like raise some like really good people yeah um but man yeah but growing up like i mean like kids are ruthless man like yeah. <laughs> like, like they're uh like you like were you ever did you ever find yourself being like subconsciously mean to a kid or whatever and you're like why I, do I do that like yeah you know, we like, talked about this last time about bullying yeah. there was one girl i was always the outcast and so 
when I wasn't this out when the wasn't the outcast in this particular situation, I participated in the bullying. Yeah. I regret it to this day. And if I ever see that girl again, I'm going to apologize to her profusely. Okay. I don't think I'll ever see her again, but I just really I, hope I apologize to you yeah. for not fully remembering like yeah. like, like that story there. Yeah, yeah like we, uh we talked about like the like, karma and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also talked about like, you also had like a like a family member. <laughs> As well, I think uh, that was like uh, like hating on your stuff, or, or was it a uh, or was it a in law? Yeah, be. my family's just not the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, sorry to hear that, but uh, no, um, yeah, okay, so like, but the, but the weight loss was um, again, so it was just breaking this. It was just a double whammy of everything. It was it was the hormones? It was the it was the yeah. cortisol? It was the it was the uh, the fast food habitually programmed yeah. into you, it's- just genetic as well, and then like. Like, when yeah. I did the ancestry, like I was going back through the generations and yeah. looking at pictures of my family members. Yeah. And I'm like, holy fuck, everybody is overweight. Yeah. Everybody is obese. Every, like, it is not. Like, I think the only person within was my dad's birth mom. She definitely was not obese. Mm-hmm. My grandfather, though, was. Mm-hmm. Um, both my grandmother on my mom's side and my grandfather, both obese. And it just kept going back and back and back and back. And yeah. like practically all of them are obese. Yeah. And so it's like, I'm just, it's just like these people didn't have access to this fast food. Mm. They didn't have access to like endless supply of like money. So it's definitely like a genetic thing. Yeah. And yeah. I think the thing about the bullying and stuff is that people really don't realize how much is genetic. Hmm. And how much is just oh I'm gonna eat fast food all I want sort sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, no, like I mean it, you're you nailed you nailed it right there. Like people who don't understand, they just assume behind the scenes you're like eating a lot, right? But like you could just be eating like a normal person, but you're uh, but well, it just yeah. so happens one or two meals was 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 fast food, and then it just it just, just by shit rolled the dice, like it like it pa- packs on in like in that that you know packs on fast for for your for your um for your circumstances, yeah. right? um yeah and then, and then kids don't care and then they just like they they just they just become mob mentality little monsters if if, if yeah. they want to fit in or whatever yeah. um yeah no like i i got made fun when i was a little kid just for being like super super skinny so it was like it was the opposite it was like yeah it's like yeah <laughs> like, i mean i i can't say i'm perfect i i don't make fun of people's weight the only thing i do make fun of is my husband was the <laughs> literal tooth yeah. <laughs> he's a six one and was about 150 pounds at yeah. one point and like his arms were just like <laughs> noodles yeah. I, it, there's nothing wrong with looking like that but it's just it's just the like the banter between yeah me and yeah my yeah, husband, yeah. So. But, but that's clearly like like goofing around yeah. like shit spirited <laughs> yeah no uh well you know but, but at the same time it's it kind of like you know, like all of your characteristics have made you who you are yeah. you know what i mean like you're definitely like very comfortable like in like in your you have yeah. a good you have a good relationship with yourself it's you know? taken it's taken a lot mm-hmm. to realize that what people say say about me is not who i am yeah yeah they just see that part of me they yeah. don't want to look deeper than that and so it's whatever it is yeah um oh i forgot what i was gonna say uh i don't know like uh, yeah like i mean you you definitely have a lot of a uh, lot of uh, like i mean you like you you design it you're like you do your hair you do hair stuff and like with your uh yeah yeah, yeah and like and well, they've been doing quite a few clients up there um they want me to expand to permanent extensions mm-hmm. some clients and i'm like i haven't really done those before yeah. so i'm like man that's I'll another thing that's another thing to add to like all the things you do yeah it's yeah like hair business um uh, a day home business uh youtubing momming <laughs> like yeah <laughs> man like like just like super busy man yeah yeah, yeah. um uh okay yeah so right now you're about to, you're there you're gonna be extending the the hair the hair the hair business you just said right now like doing, yeah doing i'm gonna extension. do that it, it's a little bit tougher now because i don't have like all that mm-hmm. free time to go to them so it's well, when i can fit you in you, you get in <laughs> yeah so. okay Sweet. And then uh, right now, the uh, like, uh, you know, like, what were you in Calgary for again? Like, uh, like, like, did, did you, did you, did you, did you tell, did you tell the audience that already? Or what? Like, why are you in Calgary again this time around? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like I just came in. So I have ear problems. I've had, uh, I struggle with um, consistent ear infections. Hmm. So I get tubes put in my ears every. It's supposed to be every year because they fall out, um, but. Um, it's been over a year 
and they haven't fallen out. So I had gone to the hospital and at, at, like in my town, the doctor's like, um, yeah, your tube's out. I go to my OB. She's like, yeah, the tube's out. I <laughs> pay uh, so much money, drive down here four hours, only for my ear doctor to tell me, nope, your tube's perfectly fine. And that was this morning. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did your family come down with you or you just came solo? Uh, well, I came with my kid. With and kid? My, okay. my husband had to work, so right. I was like, yeah. Okay, okay. Wait, where's your kid right now? Oh, with my kid. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, in the, indirectly became just like a nice little yeah, vacay, I, if you will. I, came with, I saw a lot of my friends. I actually saw my grandma mm. for the first time since Christmas of 2019. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, she's in a senior's home. Mm. Um and it, I like just the tears came out when I saw her, and I'm like, yeah, she has uh, dementia. Oh um, shit! She was actually pretty good when I saw her. Um, I've talked to her on the phone multiple times, so yeah. Um, because she doesn't know my kid very well, it was she was const- like asking, oh, what's his name? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, mm-hmm. uh, but she she remembers who I am, and yeah, yeah. And it was good. It was good to see her again. Um, and I'm planning, we're coming back down for my birthday at the end of March. Okay, okay. I'm yeah. going to go see her again. And I met up with a few friends. We, I got tacos on Tuesday. Um, Sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's been busy. It was busy. I saw my mother-in-law yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then a few other friends. And uh, <laughs> yeah. I well, don't know. Like, like, I mean, in, enjoy this impromptu vacation. Because like with, yeah. your, with your game plan for the big family, like. It's like you're not gonna have very many well or 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 every time is gonna be just like riddled with like all your kids like running around yeah. stuff like that so yeah no um yeah well i don't know obviously i'm glad you reached out and then and then uh we're just kind of thinking hey like, what's 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 uh, what's all showing up to yeah <laughs> i was like might as well fill my time with a little something else yeah. so uh yeah it was either this this time or maybe like when i came back down in march but i was like it's easter and i'm like i don't think you'd want to be filming one during the easter break <laughs> uh, i don't know I, I try to film podcasts whenever <laughs> yeah. so, i, I would have been i wasn't I been sure yeah. so i was like might as well message him now if it's if he's busy uh Mm-hmm. We'll we'll try again when I come back down. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah. Like, like, very, very glad you reached out. I always, I always enjoy talking to you right now. So, but right, yeah. So right now, um, yeah. No, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm. I hope I wasn't too invasive. Just asking you a little bit about like the about the the health. The health oh no, stuff. it's something I talk about openly. Yeah. Um, there was one thing. Um, so, uh, with my YouTube, the views kind of took a very steep plummet <laughs> because oh, really? okay. yeah. yeah um i lost two thousand subscribers over the last oh, like eight months oh wow so it's not it's not like a drastic like yeah yeah but you had like 160 something yeah like some thousand i remember yeah, or something well whatever but yeah but okay yeah, yeah. like so, uh yeah what happened with that um it was just a change in pace like it happened like practically when i moved um like just everything like i'm not going out to events as much there's not as many events up there so my content shifted to food or yeah yeah i also took my kid off of social media for the majority of it like he's still here and there but it's more so like he's growing into his own person and i don't want him to be influenced by or think that I'm only using him for social media sort right. of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I don't film very often. But um, before I got pregnant, do you know what the 75 hard challenge is? No. Oh, you don't know what? Okay. No. Um, so, it is, I don't know his name. He went on a podcast a little bit ago talking about this challenge he made where you have to work out twice a day for 45 minutes each time, um, drink a gallon of water, eat a clean diet, no alcohol, um, take a progress photo, and then read a book. A um, day? Yeah, read a every, book every day? No, no. Oh, okay, I was like, okay, okay, okay. okay. Read a book every day. Like, no, I like can't. That, that part takes most of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was like, I was looking at that, and I was like, yeah, there's like a lot of content around this, like in the fitness thing. So like, I wanted to shift my thing more to like health and fitness, like cooking, um, working out, and then like still have that like, aspect of like what i started with um being like true to myself yeah but like you were the la- like your your content prior was true to yourself though yeah. like so now this you're being true to yourself your life changed yeah so so it's like so it's kind of kind of seems like it's almost like because you're 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 settling in more to a more like structured 
world and some some people are like oh I don't want to watch this yeah. now. Like, so I took that challenge to 75 hard. I'm like, but you know, like as soon as I'm done this, like what am I going to do next? So then I'm like, if I could expand this bigger. So one of the things I was thinking about this back in March, I'm sorry, not March, October before I found out I was pregnant. So um, I was like, what if I do like a 365, like a year long challenge and not just like fitness but like every aspect like education finance mm, yeah. um like my personality my like like every like total my... human optimization yeah. it sounds like <laughs> so total I was bettering like, yourself challenge yeah <laughs> like i came up with like 52 different tasks around there like um and i've was like i could do this and like just have an entire series based around doing these challenges and working on changing myself, like keep, like keep improving who I am. Yeah. And One second. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all good. All good. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, all, it's all the reflex. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Um, yeah. So, um, what if I do that? And then, so I started planning it out. I was like, so this is like, I'd come up with like these different goals for each aspect. Um, I can't remember all the, yeah it's pretty much just whatever like aspects you think about in life is like mm. i i made like five goals in each one yeah and then i found out i was pregnant and i'm like i cannot do this during the first trimester i was barely able to keep my eyes open mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so i was like okay let's let's push this off and then it just happened that my first trimester ended like right before the new year so i was like january 1st let's do it and um, it's now the end of February, and I have completed about 10 of the tasks. Okay. So pretty good. Um, one of them was uh, like a solo trip or just having some time to myself, and I consider this pretty much a solo trip and like, you know, yeah. being by myself because my child's not staying with me. Yeah. I'm doing my own thing. I'm not with my husband. I'm mm. just exploring the city again by myself. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so like that's another one crossed yeah. off. So so like this and you're and you're saying like your content now is more geared around this stuff and you're saying <laughs> it, you just notice like a dip dip in dip in the Yeah, actually this has definitely gotten a, a, like more views. Okay, okay. Um so it's also the when I work out when I do the post like one of them was the 75 hard challenge. I was doing it and then my doctor put me on bed rest <sighs> and I was like you can't work out and I'm like great <laughs> so i had to restart it and i'm on day 30 now okay so um it's uh it's definitely going good so i have what 45 more days left yeah so the uh like right now it's like the um the view dropping do you really care or like or but because aside of you you know like even when I first met you seven, seven, seven months back or whatever it was like, I mean, that was part of your income, right? Yeah. But now you don't really need that as much because, you know, like your husband seems yeah. to seems to have, have, you know, uh, has, has increased his pay. So it's like, uh, yeah. Like, do you really care? Or you just more or less like, huh, interesting how like the views it, drop. Um, like, it's definitely, it's tied to the move and then tied to the fact that I kind of removed myself, uh, my child from yeah. the platform. Uh -huh. um, so how do you feel about that then? Like, were you a bit like, oh shit, like what, yeah. what, uh, what, uh, what a you know what a not coincidence but you're like you know you're like you're like oh wow like it's like so so people all along were kind of like just on youtube well not not all obviously but like some of the viewers were just there because they wanted to like just watch your kid on youtube basically yeah, yeah. um and how do you feel about that by the way is it, but, it does your, does your, does your, intrusive does yeah 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 because i'm like it my my content wasn't just solely based around my kid yeah like he was on there like once a week twice a week at most uh -huh. um so so like i mean let's just cut like do you think there's a lot, a lot of like like evil people there that are viewing it and there, there and they're, definitely they're like, is it's it's one of the controversies about youtube is having kids on youtube yeah. um and while i like my content didn't like focus around him there was definitely like i noticed that there was every time i'd post him those spike, videos right? would get more views um Mm -hmm. and i would gain more subscribers from it yeah. and it was it was just it was like you know like there's people out there who build their entire platforms without 
even mentioning the fact that they have kids and I want to do that but it's hard shifting away from that because without losing people so I'm like I knew that if I shifted away from it I was going to lose people and views but I mean I've started gaining more views again with the new content with the cooking with the yeah. fitness with um just my year-long challenge that I'm doing so but you couldn't have known that I guess like when you were when you're when you first put your kid on it wasn't like <clears throat> like I mean you did it on a good intention you know you, you yeah. probably didn't realize like you probably like you probably didn't realize um I don't know man like you know like it's like some people or some people are twisted you know yeah and my, my like, intentions it was never using him for views that is never my intentions that is still not my intentions yeah. never has been mm. um my intentions were also like they're like i like i grew up like i was born in 2001 mm. like i grew up with the internet yeah sort of and i don't have photos or videos of myself during that first like 16 years of my yeah, life yeah and and kids like, now are like documented from start to yeah. finish and, and like, i'm like i would like to have that like if my child comes to me when he's older and he's like i don't want anything of on the internet of myself everything's going private with him in it yeah. so yeah but the shitty part is that there's so many like whatever creeps that are probably yeah. already like you know save that crap onto their computer yeah. right and it's like I don't know, man, like uh, it does break my heart when I see that kind of stuff, because like, you know, you're yeah. taking something, you know, that's precious and, and, and good natured and then turning it twisted. Like, I don't know, yeah. man, like, like, like I remember <laughs> I'm not gonna name names, but like, you know, like, like I had this one buddy, like one time he's just kind of like, uh, he's, I don't know, I don't know, like he, like he obviously whatever you know he, he just you just you just had a photo like it, it's like it's just of him and his kid right yeah but i'm kind of like i'm like i'm like dude like <laughs> you know he's like, oh yeah he's so cute right now but i'm kind of like i'm like i might like, you know i'm like don't don't like put a put a fucking diaper on your fucking yeah. baby man you know what i mean like it's like, one of the things that like, really irks like, me yeah like, is and, that there there are some people that i know who have posted their child like newborn naked i like not not people people don't like oh that's like like but i'm like that's invasive yeah, like your child is gonna see that i've even like on facebook i've reported it to facebook and they didn't remove it yeah. and i was like that's creepy as fuck <laughs> yeah like i i don't know but like and uh but that's what i mean by like this person i i know like he's an idiot like as in but he's actually yeah. like he was i like he's actually that clueless he was just like oh cute like so yeah, you, you don't and i'm sitting there like okay buddy like first of all like i would just get that off your phone you know because yeah. i don't know like i mean like i don't know like just i bet you someone's already hacked your phone and found yeah. that and like you know like anything you have on your phone like in theory someone else the, the whole world like you know like it's a it's probably hacked and everyone can see it you know so i, I don't know i don't know but uh but it also just kind of shows you how twisted like the world is you know and uh and uh, right now, I mean, like, there's a reason why, like, you know, like, I'm a big Joe Rogan guy, but like, haven't you noticed Joe has like no photos of his kids on, on the internet? Like, like, it's like, like, he knows because people are weird, man. Like, mm -hmm. pe like, there's a lot of bad people out there. Like, yeah, and it's just like, uh, it's just, it's just so alarming, you know? Um, but uh, no, but I'm glad you, but yeah, like you, and you probably, you probably didn't think that way when, when you're first doing your content, no. you're just like, oh, my kid's on and on. And then yeah. all of a sudden you're like, hmm, wait a minute, what's with this pattern of like, spikes and you know like and then and then now you're like oh like yeah like like what do you like either 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 kids like that much of a rock star on youtube or or they're or they're or whatever they're, they're just terrible human beings that are like like looking at it for for whatever terrible reasons you know and then and that's it's so invasive right mm -hmm. and then that like probably like probably messes with your mind a little bit and then yeah but i don't know it's like but it's a tricky situation we're in now because like in this in this point in time like everyone's just on the internet from start to finish so so it's like we're gonna be watching this entire new like like culture of uh of uh yeah of, of people of people's like mindsets because think of it this way cat like if your kid not your kid like like if a kid we'll say us say we were born now and then we're on like we're on the uh you know like our 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 our, our photos are on the internet okay and then but everyone's photos are on the internet and then it's like all of a sudden when you get older you you realize everyone already kind of saw you as a kid on the internet like you kind of have to behave differently because you don't have that mystique anymore about like hey you don't know anything about me it's like they might 
literally know everything about yeah. you. Like, so you're kind of like, well, then I have to carry myself with, you know, like without that, uh, that, um, um, I don't know how, how you call it, like a, so, like a social shield, if you yeah. will, you know, like, so it's, so it's like, it's just, it's just fascinating the direction everything's going because everything is kind of so out there, but it's not at yeah. the same time, but it's just um, so different. Like, yeah. One of the things that I did take into consideration when I did start posting was making sure that I'm not too open um, so that everybody knows everything about my life. And I've definitely had people make assumptions yeah. based on videos they saw. Yeah. And it's hilarious. <laughs> and um, I'm like, yeah, you're only seeing like this little snippet of my life. Yeah. Um, I'm still like true to myself, but don't make assumptions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's one of the things is that when I was posting videos of my kid, it's not about his personality. It's not about anything he's doing or anything he likes or it's just solely like him going down the slide, him us at the water park, which is the video that went viral. And then, yeah, so it's it's not like people won't know everything about him. So, yeah, like they, like barely his name is barely mentioned on our channel, too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't, yeah, I don't know. Again, like. um. <clears throat> but, yeah. but it's also, I don't know, man. It's like some sometimes just posting it's because it's done at a good intention. Like, yeah. like I've seen videos of uh, where I, you know, like it's just like I'm like, I'm like, oh, like, like that's just a cute family, you know. But then yeah. I'm thinking twice, like I'm like, mm, that family should still put that, sh yeah. shouldn't put that picture up there because like I already know like someone else took their liberties, you know, like and, and yeah. probably had like a, like you 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 know like you know like whatever like they're bad people out there, man. So. Did you hear about the mom who is now jailed for the abuse she did against her children because she put on, them on YouTube and locked them in rooms? What? You Sorry. Did, you didn't no, hear about that? No. Okay. I don't know. I believe she lived in like rural um, Arizona. Yeah. Um, I don't know her name, okay. but she had like a lot of kids. Okay. And they This is a recent thing? Yes. It's it's an ongoing thing right now. Okay. Um and her children who are now like adults and living by themselves are all like she has young children but she also has like grown children. They're all like being swarmed by TV producers because they they know where this these people live and found that out and yeah, I saw, I saw one of the kids' videos that he posted. He's like, like, are you fucking... Like, they can't just leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely, like, seeing that kind of stuff was very eye-opening because I don't want to be compared to that. That's not what I'm doing at all. Yeah, Like, yeah. I'm not forcing my kid to take a video. Um, I'm not... I don't want to put, like, his entire life on. That's why I have definitely removed practically every single, like, stopped posting him. Yeah, yeah. Um... Like, even in my, like, vlogs that I've done, like, it's only been really me and my husband. Um, and, like, he'll run in for a second and then, like, run back out. Mm -hmm. And I tend to, like, I tend to cut those parts out, too. So, yeah. um, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely interesting to see, like, because this isn't the first instance of children being abused on YouTube, yeah. specifically for views. And it's one of the things I don't want to be compared to so yeah yeah and like yeah like i like i'm i'm no doubt that's you know that's not <laughs> that's not who you are and stuff no. and uh but it's just i don't know man like the world's just getting darker and more twisted or maybe all along it was this dark and twisted we just we just didn't know but i, I yeah. mean it's like it's just you know with all the which just with all the just the sheer craziness out there right now i mean like you know <laughs> like the fact yeah. that this whole time you know like you know people have been telling you about like you know like hey like like you know, there's this island where Jeffrey Epstein was doing all that crazy shit. And like, it was mm -hmm. like, no, no, no. Now it's coming out. Like, absolutely that happened. And like, all these people were in on it. And then just with like, you know, man, this conversation got dark, but, <laughs> but it's like, but with, you know, like that's that, that, that movie, which I am, I'm going to watch, but uh, the sound, sound of freedom. I haven't watched it yeah, yet. I like, heard that it was just gut wrenching, but <laughs> by the same time, it's like, it's as one's a true story from what I understand too. So, I mean, and then there's all these, um, I mean, like there's all this, like there's a, there's a whole group out there that are, they're exposing now that there is like there absolutely is a uh criminal child trafficking ring that, oh, there that, definitely and it's like is. and sometimes when i see what's going on like i'm like 
the fact that there's so much of these views just even on YouTube just kind of like uh, just shows you like there's a large portion of the population that that's that's twisted like this you know yeah. and, and it's kind of like it's kind of like freaking me out a little bit because you know it's like I don't know I don't know if it's always been like this or are people turning twisted you know yeah I feel like it's definitely like there's always been bad people out there um I feel like they can't hide as well anymore in this world because everything's online and it's really hard to remove the things that are online yeah Oh, um, removing things. Did you hear about Alicia Keys at the Super Bowl, who she missung the first note of her song, and they, her her PR team went in and changed as much as they could to get access to to make it sound like she didn't miss the first note. Did you hear about that? No. And how could they? Like it was live. Everyone heard it, right? Yeah, they like, went back in and they edited it. But it was live, like so we all heard it already. Yeah, but yeah. all the recordings that are now on oh, there. Oh, so like, they oh okay. They oh, went okay. In so only, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And they were also trying to remove as much possible as like those videos as possible. So Well, the internet's just starting to become a super crazy place in general yeah. because of the uh the AI and like, oh. you know, like I mean like like just like yeah, I mean, like, did you hear about uh um like, like I, I brought this up on a recent podcast, but like, you know, like, like Hitler, for instance, they, they can recreate now his speech in English with this almost 99.9% .9 accuracy of his voice would have been like, and they translated his speech. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like, it's freaky because now you hear it like translated um, and they match the slang to what it would have been like back then. Yeah. So, so you're literally hearing the, the, the speech that he gave, but now in English with the same like whatever and then and and uh and you're starting to like i don't know it's just so trippy and then and then also they can completely reconstruct like podcasts now that don't even exist because like for instance like with joe rogan he has so much sound on the internet they can just chop and bit bit by bit and like recreate a fictional podcast now so who knows where the internet's going like it's like yeah it's like and there's just there's just so much uh I don't know. It just feels like the internet's like darker and darker now. You know, like it's yeah. less, it's less positive. It's more dark. But uh, like, do you like? I mean, like, what's your what's your opinion on that? Do you think? Uh, I think that in have... the next year, that it's going to go into complete chaos because it has progressed so quickly over the last like three years. Yeah. Um, I was watching a video about a guy who, and this was back in 2019 before AI was so like recognized as something that could be a threat um he was getting calls and um everything imaginable for months and months and months and i think it lasted up until recently or maybe he's still being harassed by it but um they were pretending to be people that he knew he was they were pretending to be him they made a video of him this was this is back in 2019 before ai was big like and I'm like just watching that and he was talking about how the fact that like about that how this was before like AI was and chat G GPT and all the other stuff came out and he was this like just talking about it like his opinion on it and I'm like I like yeah and I like my opinion too is like this is gonna get really chaotic in the next bit especially with the US elections coming up yeah like you're you don't believe anything you see yeah i i I mean yeah it's like yeah i don't i don't know like it just, and i'm seeing we're kind of seeing it like in our own worlds here i mean like even i i i don't know like it's i know what i'm trying to say but i'm trying to tiptoe around it without like yeah like just just bluntly saying it but uh, like all i know right now i think you know i'm sorting on my thoughts here but i think that people are actually getting warped into yeah. more perversion and like and just s s like twisted psychologies of things like, i think we're getting brainwashed into weird yeah. weirder and weirder like because uh, i don't know it's just it's just it just seems like there's too much stimulus so then it's in all directions you know yeah, so um, it's like so it's like in order to get even more dopamine or or, like, or a kick out of something now it needs to be even more weird or bizarre or different you know and it, it ranges in like all directions and and that's why you're just seeing like the just just bizarreness everywhere you know that's that's the only word i can use everything he, seems more, yeah. more bizarre you know um 
they're like i'm not a big one into like conspiracy theories and I, I think we talked about that yeah last time. yeah i kind of know and <laughs> the thing is though is that one of the things where people believe that the government like there are like big people out there who are controlling the world especially with like consumerism and you know capitalism and yeah like <laughs> like a lot of people are aware of these things but aren't like deep thinking like thinking deeply about this and but you don't you don't think that um yeah i think we talked about this last time and i i really i really can't yeah. can't recall i'm, like, I'm not talking about like they're really out there like conspiracy theories like that what britney spears is a clone or something yeah, <laughs> like yeah. i'm not about that yeah but like um just like this 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 one is the conspiracy theory like i truly believe that it is real that the government, like, there are people out there that are trying to control the narrative of how the world goes into now and making it so that people who are, like, workers stay workers. And, yeah. Like, and making it harder for people to expand and grow. Man, um, yeah, the, the conspiracy theory genre is, is just, it's just so deep we could talk like yeah. Well, yeah i know you don't believe in it but yeah. i don't know i'm starting to think i mean not starting to i i think i think there's something up for sure yeah but, there uh, was there was it was brought up though by someone that with the alicia keys thing how they could go in and like practically change that so quickly yeah um that uh if that's happening what else is being changed what else is in history has been changed to fit a narrative well that, how, how do we know what in history is even true yeah. because of like there was even less information transfer you know like i like i mean think of it this way like i'm, I'm a bit older than you so it's when people are talking about oh oh hey um you know there's no way that there's you know there's some elite corporations that are in cahoots with a greater ideology of evil that are trying to control the masses but but back in the 80s 90s like there was no internet so there was only so many tvs with so many channels and like most people were would be have more commonalities because they watch the same stuff. Mm -hmm. And in, during those moments, you're totally able to implant little subliminal. Yeah. That's why most people were more like doing the same thing all at once. So, so I'm when I, you know, when I really think about it like that, I'm like, it, it's, it's, it's like we've, they have already got control of, 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 of us and made us into this, uh, this situation of just working, working jobs to, yeah. For 50, 60 years straight. Okay. You, know. you want to hear something? Yeah. Did you hear about the Fruit of the Loom thing? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I hear, okay. Do we, we just totally have different feeds, I think, on our phone. Yeah. So, like, so, like, I'm like, everything, everything you brought up, I'm like, man, I don't know. Okay. So, Fruit of the Loom yeah. has said, do you, do, you, do you think Fruit of the Loom had like a cornucopia on it or like without the cornucopia? What do you even mean? What like their what? logo. Do you know what the Fruit of Loom logo? It's a like banana, isn't it? It's like a fruit with a banana. Like, like it's like, it's fruits. Um, but people were convinced that there was a cornucopia, and Fruit of Loom came out saying that nope, there was never been a cornucopia. Yeah. Someone went back through their closet from like 2005, like yeah. very early, like yeah. quite a while ago. Uh -huh. She found the Fruit of the Loom. Yeah. With the cornucopia. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Um, Fruit of the Loom came out publicly and said that there's never been a cornucopia. Uh -huh. And there she is, has a shirt with the Fruit of the Loom with the cornucopia. And and people are just outraged. They're like, so this is like like corporations out here. Yeah, just straight line. Things. Yeah. And but but yeah. it seemed like I mean if they sold a bunch of those old Fruit of the Loom shirts with the cornucopia on it, like it wouldn't, it's not such a dumb lie to to try to like you know upkeep yeah but the thing is, is like, who's it. gonna have 20 year old clothing sort of i guess I, yeah that's true i mean yeah we did throw a 90s party here recently so we, we went out looking for retro yeah <laughs> retro clothes and stuff so i did find like uh but but yeah you're right like i mean i i didn't find someone's fruit of loom shirt because like i remember those shirts and like they kind of like wrecked fast too and yeah. like so if you kept one of those like more likely you never opened it or like because like you wear like 10 15 times it's like, the, like yeah the or, or you like your parents are just like let's go put this in the storage and then forgot about yeah, it yeah 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 exactly well my, my parents would be like hey this is used to wipe dust now or something and yeah then, like after a few wipes throw it away um yeah i don't, I don't know like um i, I yeah like i kind of segue into tinfoil hat stuff but 
I, I, I think, I think there's some kind of mass manipulation going on, but that's just me. That's just me, you know? And, and, you know, some people say it's unhealthy think that way. And like, yeah. you know, but uh, I just, I just, I just feel like when I look like I'm born raised in the city. So when I look around though, and I've watched the kind of rapid deterioration, not as crazy as like some places in the U S but still like Calgary's a lot, like it, it's a lot like this, it's, it's, it's decreased in quality in so many ways. Yeah. And, and I'm like, this, this is, this seems like, just a domino trickle effect from yeah from um, from control major decisions we were living in a basement suite before um before we moved and we rented it out for a thousand dollars back in 2020. yeah our landlord didn't increase the price she was a pretty good landlord um we did have a few problems but that's like whatever uh we lived there for three years until 2023. she listed it as 1500 and i'm like it's a it's a decent but like 1500 and i'm like just the price of living here now is like yeah. it's just like everybody's taking advantage of as much as they possibly can well that that's because the prime interest rate went up yeah. too so that means like you're right i mean not everyone has had to increase it they could be yeah. i don't know their financial situation she, she did it to send her son to university so mm. um but also the market probably yeah. rival houses or basement yeah. suites probably we're, have that price. We're so. renting um, a whole house now for 1300 Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. compared to a basement suite for 1500 and a whole house for 1300 Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. And plus, I mean, you're, you're, you're excited to be close to that college that, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, yeah, but right now it's, it's, it's countrywide. It sucks. Um, yeah. This can't sustain like because a lot of people are well you're going to see a lot more homeless or you're going to see a lot more just crappy living situations we're talking about like f you know three people bunched into one basement suite you know just just to have a roof over their head or mm -hmm. you know you're going to see a whole bunch of people like well it's just no different than you know like hong kong you know like like I've, like I've been there a bunch and like it's, it's a mega city but you know you have generations living in a flat together because it's just the cost of housing is just insane right yeah you know? so but that's just what it's, it's morphed into and like seems yeah. like that's the trajectory that we're on like i don't think that as soon as my children are growing that they're gonna be, be able to out. buy a house yeah yeah i, yeah, I, I don't know but like culture might be changing then where people just you just live at home and yeah. then when people start dating they they date knowing that they all both live at home and they probably have to go get yeah hotels to, to hang yeah, out i mean and, if, and... if we had moved in with my husband's parents instead of oh yeah whatever uh, <laughs> um we could have saved enough for a house yeah yeah and we could have bought in a house but yeah. they're like no <laughs> yeah and i'm like okay <laughs> yeah 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 um, it's just different culture over here too, right? too but whatever yeah um but yeah i think we're definitely going to be financially set off for the next little bit mm -hmm. um especially if i keep like um going with what i'm doing and getting money um because i'll be making as much as him if not more than him in the next few months sweet <laughs> so yeah. yeah until i go on maternity leave for like three months and then mm -hmm. i'm back at it and um yeah um, yeah uh yeah cat i'm gonna wind this down right now because uh yeah. it's actually comedy night here at cat's barn podcast uh but uh speaking of maternity you said you want to announce the uh yes. the gender okay, the gender really watching yeah. <laughs> We are having our second boy. Oh, congrats, 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 <laughs> Thank you. congrats. So hopefully that answers all your questions. And I know I've been spam messaged recently <laughs> because people want to know. So. Yeah, well, congratulations. Uh, yeah, uh, got the name picked out too or saving that one? <laughs> we had a girl name picked out that we really wanted, but I think we're going to go with the masculinized version of it. Okay, okay. Uh, we're not saying just yet because... We had some problems, like I've sh I told a few people and a few people were like, mm. and my mom was like, yeah, that sounds like a good name for the girl. But I, yeah, it's his, Yeah, it is what it is. We're going to probably wait until our baby's born to see. Okay. Uh, unless this baby ends up coming out a girl, then we'll be like, well, we know the name. <laughs> how, how would, well, how would yeah. that happen? I mean, <laughs> it, it does happen more than often than people think. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I <laughs> Yeah, it's a. Uh, like the scans sound are really like stupid but 98 percent accurate like because oh. it's just based off of what these uh ultrasound technicians uh know yeah yeah but when i saw it i definitely saw boy parts okay. so i'm like 
I'm pretty convinced that it's another boy. Okay. We don't, we're not gendered. We're not having any gender disappointment either. Yeah. Because we're like, this is a baby after infertility. Yeah. Yeah. And I I did have a little bit of disappointment because I felt like I was replacing my first son. But, um, and I really wanted to use a girl name, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm so disappointed. I'm not, I'm having a boy. It's like, yeah. Like, I'm having a baby. I'm gonna, like, I'm growing my family. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, yeah, no, it's in the end, it's, it's all great, great stuff, especially like, yeah, yeah, no, you're definitely fit to be, you know, like, like a mom, you're a good person, cat, and, yeah. uh, and you're very, you know, you're definitely productive, you know, like, you, like, you, like, you're not out here, whatever, just throwing kids on the internet aimlessly. No. <laughs> you know, so, so no, obviously, I, like, I, I, I'd be shocked if, it, if great things don't, don't keep coming. Yeah. Coming your I way, hope you so. Know? Yeah. I and, hope uh, I keep, like, growing my business. And then mm-hmm. I was supposed to start school to go to college yeah. before I found out I was pregnant and I was like, I, I'm going to have a newborn by the time school starts and eh, I'll probably wait until spring semester to do it. If they have openings for that so. or, or who knows, maybe, maybe things will change again. And, uh, baby number three, we kind of on the way maybe. again and, <laughs> and who knows? Uh, well, either way, I mean, like, like, uh, yeah, I'm sure you do well in all walks and of all decisions you make. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hey, um, yeah, cats. Great talking to you today. I hope I uh, hope to see like hope to see you again <laughs> yeah. next time you're in town again. And just keep probably this, keep this ball rolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, like our bar allows uh, kids, so you should bring them in one, one day and have a uh, have a uh, food and sure. everything like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, all right, anything anything left to let the people know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My yeah. life has been crazy since the last time i've been on here so everything has literally changed <laughs> cool yeah well yeah j- tune into cat's uh, life just in the in the show notes there we'll put in uh, the youtube page again and uh instagram and everything like that and yeah and everyone can show her some love for the new kid and and uh, we'll go from there okay yes. all right have a good day everyone bye, bye.